extremely alarming and to, to deteriorate rapidly. As we've told you many times, humanitarian access is restricted due to insecurity and bureaucratic obstacles preventing aid workers from helping affected people uh, to, excuse me, preventing aid workers to help people affected by the conflict. The humanitarian response remains drastically inadequate compared to what is needed. Although we manage to increase our operations, they are still limited to helping people living in the towns along the main roads from the capital, Mekele towards Shire, and two refugee camps. UN and NGOs have nearly 80 humanitarian workers in Addis Ababa that are ready to travel to Tigray pending clearance and the clearance has now been pending for more than one month. In spite of the challenges, we and our humanitarian partners have managed to provide some urgent assistance. More than 20 trucks have been positioned to move food supplies into Tigray. Two refugee camps in the southern part of Tigray, Mayayani and Hadi Arush, are now receiving regular food allocations with food delivery and distribution for the months of January having been completed. And across the region, 250,000 people have been reached with two months worth of food. Medical supplies have also been procured and dispatched to help hundreds of thousands of people. Our partners are preparing to prevent and assist survivors of gender-based violence across the Amhara and Tigray province regions. Some 120,000 people, that's fewer than one third of the nearly 500,000 people that we're trying to reach, have regular access to water. That's 120,000 people out of 500,000 that have not, do not have regular access to water. We continue to engage and call on the government for immediate, safe and unimpeded access to humanitarian personnel and supplies throughout Tigray. 